In this video I'm going to show you about the Toggler Plastic Anchor, also known as a Pop Toggle. Several different companies make these style of make this style of anchor, including the Hillman Group and Toggler. For demonstration purposes, I have a piece of drywall with a stud behind it so I can show you how this installs, and then we'll do a weight test to see if it how much weight it can hold for pull-out strength. These anchors are for hollow wall applications, so you can use it mostly for drywall. But they do have a 1 8 inch version for hollow doors. They also have different sizes depending on how thick your wall is. If it's 5 8 inch, 1 half inch, for instance, even if it's two layers of half inch drywall. It comes with this little tool, because what you'll do very simple. You'll squeeze it like this and then put it in a 5 16th hole. Looks to be about 3 8 inch because of these fins which are then hammered into the wall. And I can show you right here. Here we have a hole in the drywall right here or right here and you simply put the fins together. And then you would need to tap in these fins, as I said. And then to push out the trusses, the truss, as it's called, push that in. And then so let's try this one. Now we know why it's called a pop toggle, but really it took quite a bit of force to get that behind me. But as you can see, it's activated this truss, and when you put the screw in, it's going to hold these two parts here to push against these parts here that are flat up against the back of the wall. It's going to take a lot of force to be able to pull that out of the drywall. So, you can see here, flush, the flange is flush with the front of the wall, and the trusses are pretty decently flush against the back of the wall. Whatever it is you're going to install to the wall, whatever you're going to mount, be it a bracket or a hook or whatever it may be, we'll go through this screw. And that's another pro for this. Instead of a metal toggle bolt, this is already installed. So you can put your screw in, in or out. You can uninstall whatever it may be and then reinstall something right back in here. I'm going to use one of these hooks, which is rated for 50 pounds. So we're going to do a weight test, and hopefully this will last at least up until 50 pounds. It's doubtful that I'll be able to pull much more force, pull with much more force. My prediction is that this is going to hold at least 50 pounds. It's possible that this particular hook could fail first. I could have used a, one of those picture hanging hooks that could hold up to 100 pounds. And I would suspect that would hold as well. Because this is really in there. You have these style here. As you saw with that one, I just squeezed the fence popped it in, tapped it in, hammer. These are a different style where you would squeeze it this way, push it that way, and then that tapped in a little easier, and then this would hold 
like so with the screw as well. So just a different style. This one is easier to remove. I put these two boards like this because I have a 3 8 inch space in here so you can see what happens if you hit a stud. Per the instructions, stud, you can still push it through so you have a 5 16 hole or a 3 8 inch hole into the stud. You can still push it in and then it acts kind of as an expansion anchor similar to this which I can show you. If this were wood, if this were masonry, if you had a 3 8 inch hole in masonry, this kind of anchor presses up against the sides of the hole and then because of that friction it will take a tremendous amount of force to be able to pull that out. This anchor can act in a similar way. It'll push through and then as the screw is driven in the sides will expand and press up against whatever it is against whatever material. This is how this would work. Now of course this would be a round hole and all th all sides of the anchor will then expand out and that would take a tremendous amount of force to take that off. There you go, I pulled on it 74 pounds and this thing didn't even budge. So that is excellent review for both this hook and the toggler, plastic or pop toggle. The hook, which was rated for 50 pounds, didn't even seem to start to bend at all. And this is sheer weight I'm talking about here. For sheer weight, 74 pounds, this thing didn't even budge. I didn't hear a crack. Usually hear some of the material start to break. The wall starts to fail, which is what would probably happen with these kind of anchors in a drywall. The really good anchors will hold until the wall itself breaks. So I would use this for all kinds of things. I mean, you can use it for shelving. Uh, it's also really good for if you have drywall over furring strips you have to check and see sometimes you have a very small space if there's like a masonry wall and then there's furring strips and then so you a lot of times anchors stick out too much but with this it only pops out a little bit until you pop it in and then um, yeah so it would actually hold really well where they try to just kind of cut around this this flange and then you can hammer in with a ball peen hammer and then just you know, put your compound over that. But, uh, yeah, once it, I have the luxury of being behind the wall here so I'm just going to press it back out. And there you go. But as I was saying, in case you encountered a stud with this, you can put it in and it'll act just like those expansion anchors. So let's see if that holds up well. As you can see, it's pressing out against the material if you were drilling through a stud. Now of course if you were hanging something you could just put the screw directly into the stud. I assume they put that in the instructions in case you're using your 5 16th bit and then you're taking out too much material from the stud to put a screw in so you can just use the plastic anchor and there you go. This would hold up I predict just as well as uh, if it was installed in drywall. I believe I would need a smaller screw for this one. Oh, you didn't need the tool. So this kind might be even easier. I'm not sure which brand made this or even if Toggler made this style. But squeeze it together like this and as soon as you, as soon as the screw comes into contact with this part here, it starts to pull it in and then the screw connects with that part of the truss and that's not going anywhere either. 
so I would I would have faith with this style as well. Even though it kind of the screw seems like yeah, seems a little flimsier, but looks to be pretty decently mounted and attached. So yeah, we trust that one as well. So 74 pounds at least, and it didn't even budge. So I would definitely give that anchor some consideration. I have links in the description if you want to buy these this type of anchor. Subscribe for more tips and thanks for watching.